Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to uh, do a little demo of gtmtesting.com. Um, what is gtmtesting.com? Well, in gtmtesting.com you can run a B test with Google Tag Manager and it's made really, really easy. Um, just go to gtmtesting.com and you can read through the instructions here. Uh, but, well, for some of you it's a, a, a visual explanation is better, so uh, I'm going to just show you how easy it is. Alright? How does it work? Well, we get started and basically you need uh, a couple of things. You need a, a code snippet on every page you want to test on. Um, then you want this uh, code snippet to be triggered, but only on test pages. And on test pages, um, the event to use to trigger this is called call GTM testing. So it's it's handled automatically for you when you create a test. All right. Um, let's do it in this order. I have a, I want to create a new trigger, and this is uh, running a B test. And this is a custom event, and the event is called GTM testing. Now my trigger is set. All right. Now I want a new tag, and this is the GTM testing tag. And it's a custom HTML tag. I'm going to put in the code snippet here. I'm just copied this to my clipboard, paste it in here. Continue and I want to fire it on a running A B test page. That's the trigger I just created. So this uh, piece of JavaScript does all the intelligence for me and it's only loaded on uh, A B testing pages. Alright? I'm going to create this tag. And now, according to gtmtesting.com, I can create my first test. All right. This is it. This is uh, how you configure test. So, this is my uh, sample page. Headline change. Ch change the the headline. All right. This is my um, the sample page. This is the, the page I want to be testing on. It's stuifbergencom slash sample page. All right. And uh, what I do here, I just go to the JavaScript console, and I'm I prepared a, a piece of jQuery. It just changes my headline into this is the new headline for variation A. So this is going to be my new headline. Alright? So, description, headline 1, or headline A. And I want to put in this code. The new headline for variation A. I also have headline B. And I'm doing it like this. Shall I add, add a C? Yes, I will. Headline C. So I have three headlines. Okay. I want to uh, integrate it with Universal Analytics. And I'm just going to paste in my property ID here. And my property ID is in a variable. And my variable is called UAID. Here it is. Um, what I'll do in this case is just use the, ma the macro. This works. This is my exposure rate 100%. That means uh, all visitors uh, will be in the test. And the traffic control is one third for each variation. 
want my cookie to stay valid for 15 days. And here I can generate a B test code. Alright. This is my A B test code. It's some configuration here. And then I have one, two, three variations with uh, every variation uh, a new headline. Let me just copy this to clipboard. Go to Google Tag Manager. I'm going to create my uh, headline test on sample page. It's a custom HTML tag with the test code in it. Alright. I only want this tag to be triggered on the sample page page. So I'm just going to create a trigger for it. Sample page. And what is the sample page? Well, it's a page view. Uh, only on some page views. Uh, namely, page path starts with sample page. I'm going to create a trigger for it. I'm going to create the tag. And now I'm done. I'm having a GTM testing tag here. It triggers on running AB test pages. Uh, when is this triggered? Well, it is triggered uh, on my headline test on sample page, which again is triggered on the sample page. So, when I preview this container, and I visit my sample page, reload this, this triggers a page view on sample page which triggers the test code which triggers the GTM testing script and which variation will it be? Yes, I'm in variation C. This is the new headline for variation C. You see my GTM testing tag fired, my headline test on sample page fired, and uh, some some other stuff uh, which was already on there so this is how ridiculously easy it is to create a b test using the gtmtesting.com you can read all about it on gtmtesting.com and if you have any questions feel free to drop me a line you can find me on stuifbergen.com and on twitter thank you